Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 17 of Book 6. Now this proposition is very similar to Proposition 16. If we have three lines that are proportional, such that A is to B, as B is to C, then the rectangle formed by A and C will be equal in area to the square formed on B. And the inverse states that if the rectangle formed by A and C is equal to the square formed on B, then the three lines will be proportional such that A is to B as B is to C. So let's look at this proof. So A is to B as B is to C. Let us draw a new line D which is an equal in length to B. And since A is to B as B is to C, and B and D are equal, we can rewrite this such that A is to B is equal to D is to C. And the, then, of course, from proposition 16, if A is to B is equal to D is to C, then the area formed by the rectangular of the extremes, AC, will be equal to the area formed by the means, which is B and D. So we have that AC, A times C is equal to B times D, but D and B are equal. And since B and D are equal, we have A times C equals B squared. That is the first part of the proof. Now on to the second. Now for the second proof, we are going to assume that the rectangle formed by the lines AC is going to be equal to the square on B. We draw another line, D, such that it is equal to B. Now since D is equal to B, B squared, which is equal to B times B, will be equal to B times D. And substituting this for that, we have that A times C is equal to B times D. But if the rectangle formed a times C is equal to B times D, then the lines will be, the four lines will be proportional such that A is to B as D is to C. Again from Proposition 16. And since A is to B as D is to C, and B and D are equal, we can rewrite this such that A is to B is equal to B is to C. In other words, the three lines A, B, and C are proportional. And that is it for this part of the proof.